that's me clapping for you because you have started your business, you have your EIN, you have your Duns and Brad Street number, you are killing it. And now you have even started building your business credit. And again, bravo to you. Let's keep going. Now, here's the part that you need to know how to choose the big money locations. Okay, so here are things you need to look for. Number one, what are people coming there to do? You have so many choices. The entire world is Airbnb friendly. You have to find out where in the world makes sense for you. One of the things you need to consider, who do I want to host? Why do I want to host them? And this is the, this is the key, all right? This is the master key. What experience do I want to provide for this person? So if you have the time, which I know you do, Google how to create a customer avatar, how to create like marketing, for my dream client, okay? There's worksheets out there. I'll provide you with a worksheet. Do the worksheet, okay? Inside of that worksheet, it will tell you eventually who you wanna host and why you want to host that person. For example, you might come into this saying, oh, I wanna hook, uh, excuse me, not hook. I want to host the booked and busy entrepreneur who's traveling and is never gonna be in my Airbnb. And you'll come to find out you want to host families, okay? Um, that truly, you really want to create wonderful, meaningful memories for families. And that's okay too, but you need to know that. So step one is understanding who your business is for. Now, once you know that, think about not only who you can host, but then like, we'll get to that later. I was going to tell you something. We're going to get to that in the next video. Um, factor in what else can they do while they're there. So when you're thinking about big money locations, don't just think about like, I want Miami, I want to be in South Beach. Miami is a beautiful city that people travel to. It is a world-class city. It has international airports. So people from all over the world come there. It's also where people go back and forth to get on cruises. So what if you get close to the docks, right? Somebody's going to always want to stay there, right? Um, there's also families and lots of community. There's museums. There's all sorts of things to do in Miami that aren't on South Beach. Don't get me wrong. I too have stayed in an um, Airbnb on South Beach, but there's plenty of money to be made in Miami, in Fort Lauderdale that is not going to be made on South Beach. Another good example is by the airport. Anytime there's an airport, what is there? Hotels. Hotels spend a lot of money figuring out where they should be. A lot of money, it take a lot of time. Hotels typically take years to build. They buy the land, they sit on it. They survey, they do all these different things to figure out, did we make the right decision? And even before they buy the land or lease the land, they're doing research to watch things like the business industry. They're looking for things like, how can we understand who we are going to help. If I am the Ritz Carlton, is this a good fit for me? Or is it a better fit for a Hilton Garden Inn? Is it a better fit for a Holiday Inn? Or where in the market is this particular spot? And does that make sense for our business? Trust the hotels. You will never, ever, ever regret going and being close to a hotel because they've done all the hard work for you, okay? Another thing to consider is where are the areas of opportunity in that community? So a lot of times you'll look at a community and you'll think, oh, nobody wants to be there. But there may be some charm. Like people think about downtown Chicago as the only place in Chicago to have an Airbnb. But I assure you that there are at least, I think it was like 50 um, neighborhoods in Chicago. There's an Airbnb in probably every single one of those neighborhoods. You have to find the spot that makes the most sense to you. Yes, the Sears Tower is popular, but you know what else is popular? Over by the United Center where the Bulls play because it's also close to West Loop, which is our food hub. We have international chefs, world-class chefs that are less than 10 minutes from the West Loop. So you may think I only want to be in downtown, which is fine. Nothing wrong with downtown, but there's lots of great places you can be. Um, zoning is also another thing to consider. Is there tough rules and are you willing to do the work to work within the rules that's another really big thing to consider 
Um, regulations and rules have to be followed. You don't want to get caught up in trying to go around the rules. It's just not worth the headache. So definitely make sure before you get all excited about Miami, Chicago, New York, LA, wherever, you understand the regulations and you decide very clearly, will this be a good fit for my business? And most importantly, check out airdna.co, mashvisor.com. As you're thinking about where you want to be, they will tell you what the occupancy rates are and the seasonality. So you can decide, yes, you might be making $10,000 in July, but can you afford to make 4,000 in December? Does that make sense for your business? Or do you need to go someplace else that may be more stable or someplace else that's a different fit, right? Because maybe $10,000 is good in the summer, but 4,000 in December doesn't work out for your lifestyle. You have to decide those things, but those are really the biggest keys to understanding whether or not it's gonna be a good fit for you and your business.